Hi there, and welcome to a special edition of Meet the Leaders as we kick off a new session in Albany. We are pleased to have with us as our special guest on this particular issue, none other than 39th District Senator and the youngest assemblyman when he was elected assemblyman a few years ago, and now the youngest senator. Is it the youngest senator, James Goofus? Second youngest. Yeah, Second not youngest. quite youngest. Ah. Yeah, that's all right. I got all this experience now. <laughs> well, you really do have all this experience now, and uh, now you're in a whole, it's a whole new bailiwick being in the Senate, and it really is a different place now. That's right. It's it's a different, a lot of change going on. So certainly in the district, um, it's it's the first new face in this district in, in literally decades, uh, and I'm I'm honored to succeed Bill Larkin, who served for a very long time. Uh, but but certainly the dynamics up here in the state Senate are significantly altered uh, with um, you know the Democrats now in the majority by a substantial margin and uh, there are going to be I think many bills moving as soon as next week that have been bottled up for a very long time with these new dynamics now in place uh, and I look forward to being a part of that uh, chair of a new committee the investigations and uh, government operations committee and uh, you know as we were discussing uh, just prior to this segment um, I look forward to to being a big piece of the checks and balances that uh, this state requires and that quite frankly we have not seen in a very long time the investigations committee has been a largely dormant committee this will be a robust an active committee for the first time in decades. And transparent? And transparent. Uh, this is going to be about uh, impartial accountability. We are not going to go after anyone or after anything for the sake of going after anyone or anything. We are going to be looking at things in a very fair and balanced way uh, and trying to identify answers to unanswered questions and looking at issues and matters that raise a red flag that quite frankly, as I just said, should have been looked at a very long time ago in some cases, but because this committee has not been a robust one, they've either been swept under the rug or just not looked at. Well, now, people observing this say, hey, but that's easy for him to say now because the Democrats rule and you always say the same, you know, it's going to be a, a transparent thing, but you rule, so what difference is it? Yeah, so look, I, I, the, you don't have to even just take my word for it. Over the past six years in the Assembly, um, I feel I've demonstrated uh, an independence that maybe sometimes is not there in the legislature, and I've been very vocal against uh, when, when it's appropriate. Uh, I've spoken against some of the most powerful people in this state, um, including members of my own party. And so, you know, th this committee provides an opportunity. You're right. You know, we're, we're talking about accountability. We're talking about transparency now. Um, now I have an opportunity to demonstrate it as chair of this committee, and I fully intend to. Where do you start when, when you start investigating things? There is so much. It's such a huge governmental entity filled with nooks and crannies and, and things that are going on. Where do you go? Yeah, so th that's a great question. That's something that uh, my team and I have uh, been trying to, to, to come to grips with ourselves. Um, and you know, I'm not prepared uh, to speak about specifics okay. right now. Uh, it you know, is a little bit early. I yeah, understand. it's a little bit early. And um, but I will say this is as of today, now January 9th. Um, I, I've assumed the chairmanship of the committee, uh, even though I took office the first. I don't assume the chairmanship till the ninth, the first day of session. And I can tell you, as of this first day, uh, we have begun our investigative work today. Um, and so the time will come when I'm ready to, to share some information about specifics. But you're right. Uh, we are not going to be able to look at everything. We are building up this investigative unit, so to speak, from nothing, because nothing has existed prior to what we're doing right now. And so uh, we will be playing some catch up, looking at things ongoing now and looking at some things from years past that should have been looked at uh, but it, it will be quite an undertaking we won't be able to get to everything but we will be able to get to some of the the really important matters that uh, the public is looking for answers on i was going to say the public have got to be thrilled as, as they're watching this at home and uh you know they're they're hoping that this is going to transform what has been uh, a lacking uh, element of government and ethics in government, right. this is going to be a major transformation if you're able to pull it off. I, I hope we're able to prove that to people. And uh, we as a legislature, this is the other piece of it, we as a legislature are um, constitutionally mandated 
to be a co-equal branch of government. And year after year, it seems like, and I've been here six years now, we seed away some of that uh, co-equal branch authority, whether it's during the budget, whether it's during legislation, and whether, you know, in this case, during oversight. Um, there's basically been minimal, if any, oversight for many years of uh, the rest of government, of state government at large, and uh, this is a this is a, a part and parcel to exercising that constitutional right of an equal branch of government. Now, many people watching this are saying, this sounds a whole lot like Washington somehow. All those things the senator is saying are reflected in the D.C. scenario. So, so this is, uh, there's, there's one large distinction, I think. Um, our investigations uh, will, uh, will not be done for the sake of investigating. Uh, we will be doing investigations to identify problems or wrongdoings in some cases, uh, but then also come out with conclusions, a report, recommendations, ways that we can improve processes or government operations if that's what we've been looking at. Whereas I think investigations down in Washington, and quite frankly, much of what happens down in Washington uh, is theater. It's bomb throwing. It's people not accomplishing anything. We actually want to accomplish tangible results that come out from these investigations and our committee work. Very exciting. Senator? I want to wish you all the very best. We'll be watching with great interest. Thanks very I know much. all of our viewers. Well, there's no question about it. Look forward to coming back. Well done. Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks. Senator James Scoofus, watch this space for more. No question about it. We've got plenty more coming up. A full year of it here as we start a new session in, in Albany for uh, Meet the Leaders. I'm David Smith.